Hey guys, we are going to design a very basic game to guess random numbers. There are so many different techniques that you have to utilize to create this game. So let's see how interesting this will be and how to design in detail. As this is a guessing number game, we have to import a very important module called random because you are guessing a random number so the module name is random so first of all you write import and then write random this is the module which we'll be using in our code all right now the next thing the bot has to print something right guess a number or something it has to say so i'm going to use a print command and within this i'm saying bot and then i am thinking of a number so you know that that makes it quite feels like it's a game the bot is thinking a number this is this will be printed in the console after that the actual thing is how do you select a random number between a range for example 1 to 10 out of that the bot has to pick any number from that specific range so how do you create it is important for that let's create a simple variable called secret number you can give any variable name you would like to have secret number is fine now here i am going to say equals to and i am going to use the module name random dot rand int okay rand so what this will do this helps you to provide a range you can set a range between which the number will be selected now anytime you are writing such a code it is very important that you see how it is really working by printing it okay just to see you know how that value is the value is coming or not let's see it so let me run this so you can see if I slightly so bot said i am thinking of a number and here the secret number value it has guessed is seven i mean it has thought of is seven now if i'm going to run it again then it's saying three if i'm going to run it again six you can see randomly it is having selecting some number so your actual code is happening here in the line number three okay it is selecting some random number between the range you have provided great so this much is understood now we don't need this print this is just to understand how the random dot random works this we have got now the next thing is we'll create a loop okay so how do you create a loop i'll use a while loop i'm saying while true that means every time the condition is true I am not putting any condition, simply I am saying while true. That means it is a loop which is going to continue until I am using a break. There is something called a break command. I am going to show you that. So here I am saying while it is true, the very first thing I will create a variable called guess. Then I am saying equals to and here I will ask the user to guess a number. Now here I am saying guess a number. Okay, This is the place where the user is really guessing the number now let's say the user is typing 3 or 5 so what happened that 5 generally it will be taken as a string now to convert that to integer what i'm going to see int i'm going to simply write int and surround this by this input okay and i'll at the end i'm going to put down parenthesis i'll close the parenthesis here done next thing so user has guessed let's say he has guessed 5 and the secret number is also 5 let's say let's imagine that here i'm going to write a condition if guess what the user has guessed is equals to equals to is equals to that means secret number colon okay this is how you write the if condition if so then what we want now once the user has guessed won't you like to have some kind of an attempt how many attempts he is making first attempt second attempt third attempt like that so let's create a variable on top of it let's say attempts equals to i'm assigning a value called zero and here after he has made his his first guess i am saying attempts plus equals to one now what is the meaning of plus equals to one it is like increasing the, the value with one for example it is zero for the first time when I guessed, it will increase the value of attempts to 1. Second time when the loop runs, it will become 2, 3. Like that, it is going to increase by 1. Plus equals to 1 means always add 1. Always add 
1 to the existing value that is the meaning okay so if guess equals to equals to secret number then what i want to print i will say print i'll say congratulations right congratulations great now we can slightly customize this code instead of simply writing congratulations what if you would like to say congratulations you have guessed the number in dash many attempts like three attempts four attempts something like that now here the variable which holds the value is attempts now within a quote if you have to use a variable you have to use something called the keyword called f f means format okay format this string so here this is the string and here i would like to have a variable inside the quote now for this f is used so let, let me show you how how do you really write it you have guessed the number in and within uh, curly braces or within the braces I am going to say attempts okay attempts and then I will really write attempts that means it will print congratulations you have guessed the number in three attempts that is the meaning this will be a number this will be a number okay so this one we have done now if he has already guessed then you would like to come out of the loop to come out of the loop you have to use break simple now let's say uh, the computer has guessed let's say five okay computer has guessed five and you have entered the user have entered three the guess number is three now in that case i'll use something called elif what is it elif and here i'm going to write the condition so what is the condition here guess is less than the secret number that means the secret number what the bot has guessed is 5 and you are guessing 3 that means 3 is less than secret number now in such a case you are going to provide a prompt to the user to go for a higher number or try for a higher number so i am saying print and here i am going to say the bot will say right so bot will say try for a higher number okay try for a higher number now the same thing here i will say simply else else because this is the last condition right else if it is uh, if it is not equal to if it is not less than that means it's greater than so i am going to say print bot equals to try for a lower number done so our condition is completely written now let's see and if there's any error we'll try to modify that now let me run it okay so they're saying bot i'm thinking of a number guess a number it's say okay so let me guess let's say let me try with three uh try for a higher number it's say let me say 10 then try for a lower number okay uh let me say seven try for a higher number so that may be eight or nine <laughs> okay try for a higher number so it is nine so you can see nine congratulations you have guessed the number in five attempts i have taken five attempts so this is a very simple game that we have created where it appears like the bot is thinking and you know you are playing a simple game so thank you guys for watching i hope you are learning every day from my videos remember anytime you are going for programming or coding learning you have to start with very basics right more you practice the basics what happens your fundamentals will be clear and when it comes to a complex project it becomes quite easy for you to recall what you have done and then you'll be able to draft a very nice project when it comes when, when the time comes so always start with basics clear your fundamentals and then slightly slowly you progress towards the complex scenarios so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care and let's move on to the next topic